Hey guys and girls, welcome back to 23rd example video here. Um, what I just wanted to do today, or in this in this video, is really quickly just show you the difference between passing by value and passing by reference. Now we've talked about this a lot, but the name for this is something I have failed to mention, which could be good, you know, I, I'm still a little tutorially in these videos, so why not, you know, so I might as well. So let's just make a video on that. So passing by value is something we've been doing a lot, and passing by reference is also something we've been doing. So the thing is that if we have a void function here, and we pass in an integer, integer a, and we pass in an integer b, like that, what is the difference? We, we already talked about this in earlier videos, but this means that I'm passing in the actual value from here, or the actual, excuse me, the actual uh, uh, variable. I'm passing it in, I'm giving it the address here, so I'm actually manipulating the, the uh, variable I'm throwing in. Passing by value here, this is passing by reference, this is passing by value, value, pass by reference. This means that I'm copying that value from that variable and putting it into a new variable. This is completely disconnected. The only thing they have in common is that they're they have uh, the same value, the same number, right? And this is good if you send in constants. So say that in func we we have an int a and an int b and both zero, okay? And if we send in A here and B, the thing is that if I changed A in here and I changed B in here, okay, B would be changed. This actual B would be changed, but the A would still stay 0, while the A in here would be 10, okay? Because we're passing it by value, and this we're passing by reference here. So the important thing to know here is that when you pass by value, you're using a lot more memory. Okay, you're using more memory because you're creating a new variable here locally in here. It's going to be destroyed at the end of the function. Remember scope, right? Any, this is within the function scope. It's destroyed here unless you make it static. But uh, anyway, never mind that. It's going to be destroyed. But you're still making it, and it's taking memory. The reference doesn't take a lot of memory. It just takes the uh, address to this and it actually changes it. Now the thing is, good thing to know here is that when you're sending in constants, okay, into a function, you cannot send it in by reference. Constants, you want to copy the value. Alright, if we had a const in C, okay, we don't want to send in C here, okay, because C is by reference, okay, and it won't allow you to do that. That's not good. Okay, but you can send in by value because it won't risk changing this. Constant means that the computer has been given a promise. Okay, it's promised that we will never change C ever within the runtime. Okay, we'll give it a value at the start, but we'll never change it. So passing in it by reference would be breaking your promise. It would be like, hmm, why is he doing that? It's not possible. You should not do that. But here, in the value, okay, you can copy my value and then you can do whatever you want with it. But you cannot change the actual variable okay and that same thing goes for literals so I don't want to send in 20 here it, it might let you but that's gonna screw well it might not even let you yeah see uh, you cannot send in literals okay constant literals here because that will screw because there is no address to this it's just a number but if we were we're gonna copy something we might initialize it with 20 that is perfectly possible. Why not? It's just a copy, it's a variable, it gets the value 20. But this is an address, we cannot, 20 does not have an address, you know, only variables hold addresses. So uh, yeah, that's a short, short intro on just passing by value and passing by reference, and I hope that helped you, and that uh, it will help you in the future as well. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.